this morning. Father, we thank you for revival, God. Thank you for reviving us, God, and strengthening us this morning. Father, we thank you for you are the lifter of our heads, God. We thank you, hallelujah, for our very joy is rooted in you. Now, God, we ask that you will revive us again, that you will stir us up again, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Bless the service today. Heal somebody, God. Deliver somebody today. Hallelujah. Bring them out today. Draw some tears today as only you can do in the name of Jesus. And so we implore this morning, God, and come to you, Jesus, satisfied. Hallelujah, that in you is the glory. That in you, hallelujah, we can say amen. In you, hallelujah, is the glory. Revive us, God, one more time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. If you're glad to be in the house of God, can you just hallelujah. wave your hands and bless him? Because he is worthy to be praised and he is worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me. Even me.
blessings of the Lord be upon them. Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord be upon us. The blessings of the Lord be upon me and upon you. Scripturally wise in the Old Testament, as a doxology, they would have a closing blessing. Amen. I don't want to be at the end of the blessing. I want you to be blessed. I want God's people to be blessed from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. The pronoun that you said, the blessing of the Lord be upon me. Can we just change that just for a couple of minutes and say the blessings of the Lord be upon you? Somebody else, not just you, not just me, not just pastor, leadership. Amen. The blessings of the Lord be upon you from the little ones. The blessings of the Lord be upon you. The blessings. Come on, come on, praise team. We're going to change. Get ready.
that occurs. There are a whole lot of blessings going forth right now in the sanctuary. Biblically, freely have you been given and freely do you give. You receive it freely, you give freely. That's the blessings of the Lord. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Did you receive it? Did you receive the blessings? Did you receive the blessings? For your being here right now is an indicator that you are blessed. Those who are watching by Zoom, Facebook, while you're watching is an indicator that you are blessed. You're watching, you're watching. That means you're blessing. You're able to see, you're able to hear. You're able to comprehend what God is doing. And the Lord is ministering in your life and blessing you right now. You are blessed to be a blessing. I, 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 told, I told Leander, I said, Leander, stay in your spot. Don't leave that spot. And but this, but that no that was before this happened so. <laughs> oh. The blessings of the Lord be upon you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, missionary. Wow. That, that took some boldness for her to just stop everything. She must be from like Atlantic City or Pleasantville area. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for what he has done and is doing in all of our lives. We honor the Lord who is first in my life, certainly to our ministerial staff, Pastor Boone and all the ministerial associates. Thank God for you, 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 and you being here this morning. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a tremendous, awesome God we serve. Thank you very much for the, your prayers, amen, for the Edwards family, amen, the passing mother, Ruth May uh, Edwards, tremendous woman of God, amen, a humble woman of God, amen, and certainly we're going to miss her, amen, but her legacy lives on, amen, and I pray that would to God that all of us would appreciate, continue to appreciate one another. Continue to appreciate one another. Amen. Continue to appreciate one another in Jesus' precious, vivacious name. One announcement real quickly, uh, maybe two. One announcement is that uh, we had it scheduled today, a church business meeting. That will not occur today. Uh, you heard that on the radio this week. That will be on next Sunday. That will be on next Sunday. So keep that announcement in mind. Let us govern ourselves certainly accordingly. Amen. Evangelist. Anna, I was trying to get your middle name, but don't worry about that. <laughs> it's going to come and minister to us momentarily. I've asked her daughter, amen, Sister Hope, if she would just minister to us in song prior to her mother ministering unto us, amen. A lot of times, a lot of times, we don't really know the story, amen. I was talking to someone earlier, yes, Professor Callum, I talking to her earlier, I said, it's, a, it's, it's nice to be able to see where persons come from as we read sometimes people's obit obituaries. But it's always better to know where they came from while they're yet living, if you can. Every one of us in here have a story. Can I get a witness? Every one of us have a story. We come from somewhere, meaning more than just coming from uh, a, a different state and uh, occupation. But there's a story that goes with your life. There's a story. Amen. I would to God that sometimes we will publish our stories and have a one day we have it's a story time. A story time. Amen. Well, keep it abbreviated because y'all go a long way. Amen. But it's a blessing to know where the Lord has brought amen, us from, and so I thank God for, again, evangelist uh, more, amen, and Sister Hope is going to come and minister to us in song, and the next voice after that will be that of evangelist Anna Moore in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I thank God for another day that he has brought me, allowed me to see. 
I remember last, last Saturday I had no voice and uh, my daughter kept telling me, stop singing, mom, stop singing. You need to save your voice. But God has been so good. God has been so good. And when it's in you, it's just in you. I thank the Lord for my mother, <laughs> Evangelist Anna, at the services for the homegoing for Mother Ruth. She was praying and she said that Mother Ruth was a giant walking among us. She was. She was. And I just, the Lord really opened my eyes to see that we have so many giants walking among us. We have so much to be grateful for. Pray my strength in the Lord. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh. His presence is here, there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You can come. You need to know his presence is here. Hallelujah. Open your heart. Hallelujah. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. One more time. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. It's him. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Is he? 
whatever it is, whatever it is, come lay it down. The burden you have carried, just give it to Jesus. Come lay down. The burden you have carried, for in the sanctuary, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The atmosphere has already been set. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All you have to do is bask in it right now. Just bask in his presence. Hallelujah. Come and lay down. Hallelujah. The burdens that you have carried. Hallelujah. His presence. Hallelujah. His presence is here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why we come into the sanctuary, because God is here. God is here. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is here. He meets us here. He meets us here. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Sister Hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only God could know. Only God could know. Hallelujah. Only God could know that that was a song I wanted to hear. That was a song that was in my spirit this morning when I woke up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, only God knows. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Bishop, for those kind words. Hallelujah. I give honor this morning to Bishop Robinson. Hallelujah, to First Lady Robinson. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for Assistant Pastor Hannah Boone. And for Associate Pastor uh, Matthews in his absence, hallelujah, missionary male in her absence, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, Pastor Burden and uh, uh, Lady Sharonda, hallelujah, and last but not least to my husband, Minister Jeff, hallelujah, hallelujah, man who loves the Lord, hallelujah. And uh, besides my son, hallelujah, he's in a household full of girls, full of women, hallelujah. <laughs> and sometimes we overshadow him, hallelujah. But we thank God, hallelujah, for his life. I thank God for, hallelujah, for him loving the word of God, hallelujah. He's a man of God's word. And I thank the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes I look on the TV and I see all the uh, sports and the uh, basketball teams and the soccer and uh, baseball and the arenas are just filled <laughs> and they're cheering and they're cheering and everybody's cheering for their team. <laughs> but we, hallelujah, are on the greatest team of all <laughs> because we are on Team Jesus, hallelujah. We are on the team, hallelujah, that wins. <laughs> We're on the winning team, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we watch those other teams, <laughs> hallelujah, they disappoint us sometimes. <laughs> but God, hallelujah, he never disappoints. <laughs> hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> And because he won, hallelujah, we win too. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to pray, pray with me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And just turn your Bibles with me for a short while, hallelujah, to the book of Joshua. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for all the word that we've been hearing. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God has been rich. I thank God. I don't want to name names, but Evangelist Cooper last Sunday, <laughs> all through the, out the week we hear those who are speaking on Zoom, and the Lord is truly blessing us. He's sustaining us with his word, and I thank the Lord for that. And the word that 
the Lord has given me this morning. It's a word, hallelujah, that was given for me, but also the Lord told me it's for everybody. It is also for the body of Christ, hallelujah. So if you would, um, thank you, Jesus, turn with me to the 14th chapter of Joshua, and we're going to read starting at the 10th verse down to the 14th verse. And now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he, as he said, these 40 and five years, even since the Lord spoke this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spoke, spake in that day. For thou heardest in that day how the Anakins were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave Caleb, the son of Jephna, Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephna, the Kenzanite, unto this day, because that he, followed, he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And if you would just bear with me and go to the book of uh, uh, the Gospel of John, the 16th chapter, and we're just going to read one verse from that. John 16, verse 21. A woman, when she is in travail, has sorrow, because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, and remembereth, she remembereth no more the anguish, for joy that a man is born into this world. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like to just speak to you for a, a short while this morning. It's time to push. And for a, after a, a subtext, if I can use it, the spirit of Caleb. Thank you, Jesus. Here in the beginning of this, in the, in the book of Joshua, in, the, in this 14th chapter of Joshua, they are dividing the land of Canaan up by lot. Joshua and Eleazar the priests are distributing among the heads of the fathers of the tribes. And it's a, it was according to how the Lord had commanded Moses. Each tribe came forth. The tribe of Judah comes forth for their inheritance. And out of that tribe comes a man named Caleb. Caleb begins to stake his claim on what he was promised by Moses, the man of God. Caleb is now 85 years old but he has not forgotten what was promised. Caleb begins to have a flashback or a recall of 40 years ago when he was younger. He was sent out by Moses to spy out the land. He was sent with 12 other spies, hallelujah. And now he's, he's refreshing Joshua's mind. And he's telling Joshua, you remember because you were with me. We were together. And when we came back, from, from spying this land with the 12, uh, 12 other spies, Caleb said, I bought back the word that, that was in my heart. 12 went out, 12 went out, and, and 12 came back. But only two of us saw the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Only two of them came back with the good report. Hallelujah. David said, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. It's a, it's a sad thing, hallelujah, when you begin to look and you can't see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Twelve of them went out, but only two, two of them came back with a good report. You have to always see the goodness of the Lord, no matter how dark the day is. Hallelujah. And Caleb said, hallelujah, you remember Joshua, 40 years ago, hallelujah, we were sent out to spy the land. Hallelujah, you and I came back, and I, and I came back, and, and, and I spoke what was in my heart. Hallelujah. The other ten caused the people's hearts, hallelujah, to melt and caused fear in the people, causing them not to enter. 
but they but the Bible says that Caleb had another spirit he had a different spirit he spoke life to the people and when the other ten spies spoke of the giants of Anak the Bible says it was Caleb that stilled the people before Moses and said let us go up at once and possess it for we are well able to overcome it but the other men that were with them said but they're stronger than we are, and the cities are fortified, and they saw themselves as grasshoppers. And now, here Caleb stands, 45 years have gone by, and he's now 85 years old, and he's coming for his inheritance. And he says, because my heart was right, and because I followed the Lord holy, the Lord has kept me alive these 45 years. Caleb gives all the glory to God. He gives God the glory for keeping him. Hallelujah. Has anybody ever, ever been kept by the Lord? Has any, hallelujah, do you know what it's like to be kept by God? Hallelujah. Caleb says 45 years. God is a keeper. He'll keep you in all kinds of circumstances. Doesn't matter what the circumstances is. If you want to be kept by God, he will keep you. Caleb said, I hope, because I wholly Follow the Lord, hallelujah. And hallelujah. He says, uh, hallelujah. He, uh, he says, after all the I've been through, uh, after all I've been through, uh, I wandered in the wilderness uh, with the other children of Israel for 45 years. Uh, I had to go through the wilderness with them, uh, not because I wasn't ready, but because they wasn't ready. Uh, but I still had to wander through the wilderness. Uh, I had to fight the wars with them. Uh, I had to go through all that I had to go through, hallelujah. Hallelujah, but here I am, uh, 45 years later, hallelujah. And he says, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. Even so, my strength is now for war both to go out and to come in. And then he makes his claim, give me this mountain. There is a strength, hallelujah. There is a strength that Caleb had, hallelujah. A strength, not just a physical strength, hallelujah. But Caleb had another strength. He had a different spirit. The Bible says to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. When you follow God wholly, with your whole heart, with your whole soul and mind, you will receive a strength from the Lord. Hallelujah, that, that surpasses all understanding. The physical strength that Caleb had, it came from the Lord. Caleb said, I'm as strong now at 85 for war as I was at 40 when, he, when I first saw the land because he chose to follow the Lord with his whole heart. Caleb didn't want just any old land. He didn't want just any territory but he said give me this this mountain and I used to always quote it wrong and I used to say give me my mountain but that wasn't what Caleb said Caleb said give me this mountain hallelujah hallelujah it was he wanted this territory he wanted the territory of Hebron hallelujah not only was it the place where Abraham and his ancestry was buried it was a place where David had ruled and reigned it was a place hallelujah hallelujah where all the ancestors to Sarah and all of them were buried but he said I've got some scores that I want to settle I've got some things I want to settle hallelujah I've been waiting for 45 years to conquer this land and the giants that are in it the same spirit I had then I have now hallelujah God has allowed me to come back around 45 years later and I don't want to miss this opportunity has God ever given you another chance has has God ever given you an opportunity, hallelujah, that you thought you thought something was gone forever? You thought something was lost to you forever, hallelujah, but it came back around again. That's the grace of God. That's God's grace bringing it back around to you one more time, hallelujah. And sometimes he does it two more times, and sometimes he'll do it three more times, but it's God's grace, hallelujah. And Caleb recognized, hallelujah, you, he kept me alive. He kept me alive. These 45 years uh, to see his goodness, uh, to see, hallelujah, my inheritance. Uh, so give me this mountain. Uh, I want this territory. Uh, I don't just want any territory. Uh, I don't want your territory, but I want my territory. Uh, and we all have a this. Uh, we all have a this territory. Uh, we all have a place, hallelujah, that God is trying to get us to. Uh, we all have a territory, uh, hallelujah. And, and, and Caleb st 
makes his claim. He said, give me this mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever God says, whatever God says is yours. Whatever God has for you, it's for you. So Caleb says, I want this mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God gives you, when God gave you that job, he already knew there were giants there. Hallelujah. He already knew there were jealous people there. He already knew there were haters there. But it's your inheritance. When I called you into that ministry, I knew there were giants there. I knew what you would have to face. I knew that sickness would rack your body. I knew, hallelujah, the obstacles that you were going to have to climb. I already knew it when I told you that land was yours. When I told you to purchase that land, I already knew there were occupants there. Hallelujah. But that's your inheritance. And what God has for you is for you. Hallelujah. What God has for you. You see, Caleb, Caleb wasn't asking for, for any territory. He, he wasn't asking for any mountain. Hallelujah. He wasn't asking for a mountain or a territory that was already conquered. He was asking for something hard. Hallelujah. God says, ask me for the hard thing. I want to do the hard thing in your life. Caleb was asking for a land that was, that was occupied. It was already occupied. He, the Anakins, the giants, hallelujah, the king of the giants lived there. Arbor, his name was. It was still being occupied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it was still, they still had fortified cities. Hallelujah. But Caleb was asking, wasn't asking what was already conquered. He was asking for the opportunity to go to war and take possession of what was promised. The word goes on to say that Hebron, hallelujah, Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephna, the Kenzanite, to this day. Why? Because he wholly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. And when you, the word holy, it means entirely refusing to do anything halfway. Hallelujah. It means, hallelujah, that Caleb, hallelujah, he didn't do anything halfway. When we follow the Lord with our whole heart, when we follow the Lord wholly, it doesn't mean we do it halfway. It doesn't mean when we leave here today, hallelujah, we stop following him. But we have to follow him Monday. We have to follow him Tuesday. We have to follow him Wednesday. We have to follow him when, hallelujah, in the wilderness. Where he leads me, I will follow, hallelujah. Wherever the Lord leads us, hallelujah, we still follow him with our whole heart. We still have to follow him with our whole heart, soul, and mind. Caleb followed the Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, with his whole heart. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus speaks this word to his disciples in John 16. He is getting ready to, to depart from them, and he's telling them that they will have to experience some sorrow. Hallelujah. That they were going to have to go through some things. He's, he's telling them that he's going to leave them, but he's going to send back the comforter, and they didn't understand. They didn't understand what he was talking about. They were questioning amongst themselves, what do you mean? What is, what is he talking about? In a little while, you won't see me. They didn't really understand it. Hallelujah. And then Jesus begins to use the analogy of a woman in travail. He uses the, woman, the, the example of a woman in, in childbirth, the childbirth experience. You know, for in that childbirth experience, first you carry the child for nine months, and that's not even the labor. How you, carry, you carry that child for nine months, and there are all kinds of the tri trimesters that you go through. Hallelujah. And then, and then you get to the, after the nine months, you get to the labor. And after you come to the full term, the baby is due. Then you go into labor. During the labor, there are stages to the labor. Hallelujah. The last part, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. The last part of the labor, they call it active labor. Because the beginning of, the, of, of labor, when you're going in, is early labor. And the contractions are, are further apart. And they're not as heavy. Hallelujah. But in the last stages, in the last stages of, the, of labor, they call it the transition period. That's when the pain becomes more intense. And that's when it comes more frequently. And the pains become to come quicker and faster and heavier. Hallelujah, Jesus. And Jesus was speaking to me spiritually. And he said, we're in the transition. We're in the transition period. And hallelujah. And that's when the pain is getting heavier. The pain that is coming more frequently. Hallelujah. The whole earth. The Bible puts it this way. Hallelujah. The whole earth. The whole creation is travailing. And it's in pain. And it's waiting for the manifestation 
nation of the sons of God. Hallelujah. The whole earth is travailing. Everything is changing in the transition. Everything changes. Hallelujah. In the transition. Can't you look around and see it? Spiritually looking. Don't you see the transition? Hallelujah. How we used to live in. We think we lived in a safe country. The United States of America. We thought we were sheltered from the storms of life. And then we thought, hallelujah, how we wouldn't have to go through nothing. But now the world is shrinking. And it seems like it's getting smaller and smaller. And one country is melting into another country. Hallelujah. And then we look at the markets. The markets are going fluctuating up and down. There's shortages everywhere. Gas shortages. Hallelujah. Shortages on medicine. Hallelujah. There are diseases that we never heard of before. The earth, hallelujah, there are hurricanes and earthquakes, hallelujah, and all kinds of things in, in diverse places that we never thought we'd see. Hallelujah, but we see it now. And you know, the Bible calls it, he calls it, the Bible says it's the last days. We're living in the last days. But the Bible also says, hallelujah, that this is not the end. Hallelujah, that there's more to come. Hallelujah. But as those pains, hallelujah, the pains get more frequent. And as the pains become, hallelujah, more and more, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. We have to depend and trust in the Lord. We have to depend and trust in Jesus. Our faith must be in him, just like Caleb's was. Our faith has to be in the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He knows what's going to happen. He knows before it happens. He sees everything, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, hallelujah. And in the labor, when we go through those labor pains, hallelujah, there's a time and period where they tell the woman, they tell you, don't push. And I always used to think that was strange. Don't push. Don't push yet. But they say when they tell you don't push, it's because you can wear yourself out too soon. You become too tired too quickly. Hallelujah. Ha, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that makes the delivery. It will delay the delivery. Hallelujah. But when the time is right, when the time is right, they tell you, hallelujah, they tell that woman to push. They say push. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say push. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's not just, hallelujah, it's not just the young that's pushing. It's not just the old that have to push. We all have to push. Everybody's pushing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you push, when they tell you to start pushing, you're in the height, you're in the height of your pain. Hallelujah. You're in the height of that pain. That pain is at its worst. That pain is, hallelujah, is at its worst. But yet they tell you to muster up the strength. They tell you to muster up enough strength to push and to push and to push. Hallelujah. God says, I see you. I know you're at the height of your pain. I know you've been through. Hallelujah. I know what you're going through. But God says, if you push, if you push, hallelujah, there's a reward. There's a reward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And at the height of that pushing, hallelujah, we're told to muster up all the strength. Hallelujah. We're living. Hallelujah. We're living in a stage of birth when I hear the Lord say, it's time to push. Hallelujah. The atmosphere is changing. Even the apostle Paul said, not as though I had already attained, but he said, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. We all have to push. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We all have to push. This, this past few years, I was just thinking, this past few years, hallelujah, we've all have had to suffer many losses. We went through a life-changing pandemic that some people are still recovering from. And in that, I was thinking, even in my natural family alone, my sister, she transitioned. My sister Penny transitioned. My brother-in-law, Joe, he transitioned to be with the Lord. And then my, my, my beloved mother. She transitioned over a year ago to be with the Lord. But as I look around, I look around, I look around and I see the saints. I see all of you. Hallelujah. And I see the losses too. I see what you've been experiencing. Some just recently, like Mother Ruth, going on to be with the Lord. There was family.
family. Hallelujah. But after I finish looking all around, hallelujah, after I finish looking, I hear the Lord saying, Anna, it's time to push. Don't give in. Don't throw in the towel because after the push, you will deliver. Hallelujah. After the pushing comes a blessing. Hallelujah. After the pushing comes a miracle. Hallelujah. Jesus in John 16 told his disciples after the child is born, he was talking about to his disciples. He said, after that child is born, he said, a woman is in travail. He knew what they were experiencing. He knew the kind of sorrow that they were feeling because he was about to leave them. When he, he says, after the woman gives a, gives what, goes into travail, hallelujah, there's a new baby. Hallelujah. There's a baby brought into the world. King James Version says, a man child comes. He said, then you will receive her joy. You will rejoice and no one can rob you of that joy because you have pushed through the pain. The same spirit that kept Caleb strong at war at 85, hallelujah, as he was at 40, God kept him alive. We have the power of the Holy Ghost living on the inside. Jesus told his disciples, I will not leave you comfortless, but I'm going to send back the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. And in this life, we all will have to carry our own cross. I was reading, hallelujah, I was reading in the book of Luke, chapter 23, where they made Jesus, he was going up Golgotha's hill, and they made him carry, hallelujah, to his crucifixion, and they put the heavy cross on his back, and they made him carry the very thing that he would die on. But he did not, He, but he did it, and he did it just for you, and he did it just for me, hallelujah. He carried it for you, and he carried it for me. And then there were some women that were following him. They were looking at him carrying that heavy cross. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus turns to the women. They're crying and they're weeping and they're weeping and they're crying. And Jesus turns to the women with that heavy cross on his back. And he says, don't cry for me, daughters of Jerusalem. Weep for yourselves because of the days he knew would be coming ahead of them. God knows what crosses we have to bear. That's why he's telling us. He's telling us, hallelujah, to keep pushing, hallelujah. Go ahead and bear down. That's the word they tell us. Bear down. There's a glory that is yet to be seen. There's a glory that is yet to be revealed. God will get the glory. God will get the glory. There's a blessing, hallelujah, on the other side of the push. Hallelujah. That baby that is being born and delivered. That woman doesn't even remember. Hallelujah. What she went through. She doesn't remember the pain after she has that baby. Hallelujah. Jesus said there's going to come a time. Hallelujah. You might have sorrow now, but you're going to deliver. Hallelujah. You're going to, hallelujah. You're going to see me again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the other side. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus endured the cross. Hallelujah. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. But now he is set on the right hand of the throne of God. I can hear the Lord say, look at me now. Look at me now. Yes, I endured. Look at what Jesus endured. Hallelujah. They beat him all night long. They sent him from judgment hall to judgment hall. And hallelujah. They nailed him. They made him carry his own cross. And then they nailed him to the cross. Hallelujah. They nailed his hands and his feet. And then they pierced him in his side. And then they took him down. Hallelujah. And they put him, hallelujah, in a grave. They put him in a cave. And then they put him in a cave. And then they put a big boulder over the cave. And they said, that's it. Hallelujah, he's done. Oh, but on the third day, he rose again with all power in his hand. He rose triumphantly. And saints of God, when he rose, we rose. We rose triumphant with him. We, hallelujah, now he is seated on the right hand of the Father. And Jesus said, look at me now. Yes, I had to suffer, but I endured it. Hallelujah. We have to endure, hallelujah, suffering as a good soldier, hallelujah. He endured the cross. He suffered the shame, but now he's on the right hand of the Father. He's no longer the lamb, but he's a lion of the tribe of Judah. And I began to look at that. I said, look at you, Lord. You came down through the line of Judah. That's the same tribe that Caleb was out of. You came down through that line, hallelujah. You showed yourself strong, hallelujah. He's not coming back as a little lamb, but he's coming back, hallelujah, as a lion, and he's going to roar. He's going to roar upon this earth, hallelujah. 
hallelujah, we will be roaring with him in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So you can't stop pushing. You can't stop pushing. Hallelujah, you can't stop pushing. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's enough, hallelujah. It's and the Lord began to speak to me about strategy. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God is a God of strategy. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he began to still use that, that birth, the travailing of a woman. He said, you know, after the woman, after they tell the woman to push, and after she is pushed and she's tired, they tell her, hallelujah, to rest, hallelujah, to rest, hallelujah, don't push. Hallelujah. They tell her to rest because there's going to come a time when she has to push again. There's going to come a time where hallelujah come at East Saudi. There's going to come a time where you're going to have to push again. So God says, when I give you rest, hallelujah, rest, rest. That's a strategy, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even in the Old Testament, hallelujah, hallelujah, you may say, well, I don't, well, you just finished telling me God says to push, but God is a God of strategy, and God doesn't wear you out. That's the Satan who wants to wear out the saints. That's Satan who wants to wear you out, that you're so tired, you can't even push when it's time to push, hallelujah, hallelujah, but when it's time, to come on, hallelujah, hallelujah, but when God gives you rest, do you remember in the Old Testament, after they had gone to war for so many times, or so many days and years, they had war, then the Lord it would say, the Lord would give them rest from their enemies, and then the, the Lord even gave the land rest, hallelujah, where they wasn't supposed to plant the crops or anything in the land, hallelujah, that the year of Jubilee, where they were supposed to, wasn't supposed to let anything uh, uh, the land was supposed to rest. God has a strategy. God says it, hallelujah, when I tell you to rest, rest, hallelujah, because there is going to come a time when you're going to have to push again. And I want you to be able to, hallelujah, to be able to push through, to be able to push, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And in my closing, hallelujah, I just wanted to say, hallelujah, I was I told my daughter I was going to tell this, hallelujah, to the glory of God. She was, she was texting me one day, and she said, uh, Mom, hallelujah, uh, I just finished a big uh, inspection uh, on my job. And I didn't even know she was going through a big inspection. You know, she, she quietly went through it. And I, and I said, well, how did you do? And she, she texted me back, and she said, I got 100. And I said, I, and I said to her, I said, what? I said, you got a hundred. And she said, it's never been done before. It's never been done before. And I heard that word in my spirit, hallelujah. I heard that word in my spirit. It's never been done before. God is going to do some things. And we both gave glory to God. God is going to do some things that has never been done before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you count God out. Hallelujah. Yes, you may have to push. And yes, you may be at the height of your pain. But God said you keep on pushing because there's miracles on the way. Hallelujah, Jesus. I've seen him do it. I know he'll do it. I've seen him do it over and over and over again. Hallelujah. God wants to do some things that is going to blow your mind. That is going to amaze you. Hallelujah. I said, hope has never been done before. Hallelujah. Then she began to say, well, you know, they probably just overrated me and all that. She began to, I said, no, no, no. I said, it was the Lord. It was the Lord that did it. Hallelujah. You have found favor with the Lord. You found favor with God and man. You have found favor and I thank the Lord, hallelujah, because I see the travail. I've, seen, I've watched her travail. I've watched her go through. You don't get, hallelujah, the victory without travail. You don't get, hallelujah, Jesus. It doesn't come without travailing, hallelujah. And God, hallelujah, Jesus knew that. Jesus knew, hallelujah. Jesus knew that we, what we will be going through in this season, in this time that we're in, hallelujah. And for all those of you, Maybe some of you aren't pushing right now, but you know, in the birthing room, they have coaches. So maybe right now, you can help somebody else push through. Maybe you can help somebody else, hallelujah. Maybe you can help somebody else bring something forth in the name of Jesus, because we're all in this together, hallelujah. There are no big eyes and little U's. We're all, hallelujah, in the kingdom, hallelujah. And we're all striving for righteousness, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, it's time to push, hallelujah. And remember the spirit of Caleb in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
hallelujah. Come on, give God come praise, hallelujah. We're going to pray even right now in the name of Jesus. Did you receive a word? I did. Did you receive a word? I did. I received a word from the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Would you do this for me? Hallelujah. As we begin to preach, just lift your hands with them being open. Father, we stand in the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. God, our hands are open. God, willing and waiting to receive what you have for us, God. Father, we thank you for that prophetic word, God. We thank you for the woman of God that walked in that anointing. Father, we thank you for where we're going and what you're doing. We thank you, God, for going higher and higher in you. Whatever the situation is, oh God, we ask that you will move name of Jesus, uh, that you will touch sick bodies, God, uh, that you will lift up burdened minds right now, uh, that you will draw, God, those, hallelujah, that are on the brink, God, uh, speak peace to the minds, oh God, uh, of those that are tormented today, uh, Father, we ask, God, even as we stand, uh, even at this place and time, uh, you have opened the door and you've given us the word, uh, and the word push God and so we're here and willing oh God to be moved by you in the name of Jesus thank you God somebody tell him thank you somebody tell God just thank you right now for what he is doing and where we're going the season that we're in now bless the name of God tell somebody I'm pushing it's tough but I'm pushing down and look and see what God it's the Lord's doing. It's the Lord's doing, bless God. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Even now, praise God for what he's doing and what he's going to do. Come on, the spirit of the Lord is in this house. The spirit of God is in this house right now. The spirit of the living God in here and we are being hallelujah touched and anointed for such a time as this God we give you praise and glory and we give you honor hallelujah oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah amen hallelujah amen and amen bless his name praise God hallelujah bless your name hallelujah glory to God hallelujah there is that sweet sweet spirit hallelujah we're gonna go on but praise God but when God comes into the place when you feel the anointing and the power of God when you're tired and worn out and the Lord sends you a word and tells you it's all right hallelujah we push now we thank God for the souls that are being saved we thank God we're praying for those whose minds are, are challenged right now we're praying for the young people who are dealing with mental illness God Hallelujah, we're pushing, praise God, uh, for that cancer victim now. Uh, we're pushing for that man and that woman that the doctor said you will die. Uh, we're pushing, praise God. Uh, we're pushing for our Pastor Bishop Robinson. Uh, we're pushing for Lady Vanessa Robinson this morning. Uh, it's not just for yourself. It's not just for myself. Uh, but we're pushing, praise God. Uh, we're pushing, praise God. Uh, and we give God glory for it. Uh, this is a season and a time. Hallelujah. We bless you. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sister Barbara, could you just stand up? I'm sorry, Bishop. I'm going to stop. Sister Barbara. Sister I thought I saw Sister Barbara. No, praise God. Hallelujah. But I want, we're so used to sometimes, hallelujah, we're crying for ourselves. Hallelujah. And for where we are, but there's this bond we have uh, that, that's in this house. Praise God. Uh, that, that there was a releasing of the spirit of an anointing. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, through this woman of God, praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. I don't know if you heard that uh, anointing and that spirit that came. Praise God. Uh, and really what it's telling us is that we can make 
make it. Uh, so tell them, you don't tell, we can make it. Uh, tell the person next to you, I'm pushing you. Uh, oh, you ain't quitting and you are not giving up. Uh, you are not giving up. You are not quitting. You are not walking out. Uh, because I'm pushing you. I'm behind you. Uh, I got your back. Praise God. Uh, tell somebody, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name. I got you. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'm done, Bishop. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, sir. Thank you, Lord. You want me to continue to continue? Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless, bless the name of the Lord. Bishop told me to finish, but I to, to, to go on with the offering. Praise God. But I feel like something alive is in this place. I, I feel like there, there's a, a deliverance that's in this house. I, I, I feel, praise God. Hallelujah. That, that God himself is speaking and letting you know that you ain't got this by yourself. I've already assigned the angels of the Lord that's watching over you, that's keeping you. Uh, sometimes you feel like you're walking by yourself. Uh, Evangelist Anna, but you let me know somebody else got my back. Uh, praise God. I have just praise God. Uh, don't you thank God for this word of God. Thank you God for what God is doing even right now. Praise God. There is an anointing in this house, Bishop. There is a releasing bless God. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. In this place right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, I, I know that we're still in, in a COVID place, uh, but can you just tap the person behind you and, and tell them I got you. Just tap them. Pr that's right. Just tap that person. Thank you, Evangelist Anna. Hallelujah. Tell them I got you. Just tap them on the back. Just tap them on the back. Praise God. Just tap them on the back and tell them I got you. I got you. I got, I got you. Yes, sir. Bless the name of God. Come on, just tap him on the back a little bit. Bless him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, just tap him. Come on. Come on. Maybe you don't need anybody to tap you, but I need somebody to tap me on the back. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. I need somebody that got my back. You got me? Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You might not need anybody to tap you, but I do. Bless the name. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Got you covered. Got you covered. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. My, 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 my. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Glory to God. Praise his name. That's all right. God is still ministering. That's all right. Evangelist Anna is moving. Praise God. God is still moving. God is still moving. Come on. This is what we're talking about. The move of God. God is still moving. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. They're still ministering. Praise God. This is still praise God. Come on. Bless the name of God. It ain't about you or me. It's about the spirit of God and the anointing of God. That's right. Let them know you got them. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless God. Hallelujah. I got you. Praise God. I got you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless his name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for being in here. Thank you, God. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for encouraging. Hallelujah. Thank you for using the servant, oh God. My God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Is something happening in this house? Something's going on in here. Hallelujah. There's something going on in here. Hallelujah. You may not get that because it may not be you that need that this minute, but there's something going on in here. There is something going on in here. Hallelujah. My God, there is something going on. Hallelujah. And moving, bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless your name, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I need to come on. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you, 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the anointing in this house. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Glory. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Evangelist Anna, we are praying for you. Praise the Lord. Praying for you, woman of God. Praying for you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless God. At this time, praise God, we're going to try. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to try to lift an offering up at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise your name. We ask if you will stand on your feet at this time. Praise God. Even the ushers that are manning the aisles hallelujah if you need an envelope please lift your hand up praise god that you praise god will be given an envelope we're asking the announcer to come to the rostrum at this time so they're prepared to give the announcement praise the lord in Jesus' name praise god lift your offering if you're in your hand if you will father we thank you so very much for your spirit we thank you god we thank you for your coming and showing up god today god we thank you for the anointing that rests in this place god we thank you for our shepherd and first lady god we thank you for keeping and strengthening god we thank you for lifting up hung down heads and strengthening feeble knees, God. Father, we ask that you will bless this offering, uh, even in our giving, praise God, that it is used for the building of thy kingdom. Uh, we thank you, Father, hallelujah, for the doors you've opened and the ways you made. Uh, we thank you for the bills you've allowed us to pay uh, when we didn't know how we was going to pay it, God. Uh, we just thank you, God, and so we ask you to bless this offering. Uh, hallelujah, God, multiply it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God and amen. You're in the hands of the ushers at this time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 